Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure your FortiGate, FortiNet, uh, FortiGate firewall to be used in your home or office and how to configure internet to your FortiNet, FortiGate firewall. So first up after you log in, you have to go to network and under network you will need to go to the interfaces section. In the interfaces section, you have four parts, hardware switch, physical interface, software switch and Wi-Fi SSID. And also at the top, you will see a small diagram showing the hardware interface layout of your firewall. So as you can see, there are four LAN switch uh, ports and one WAN port. WAN means wide area network, which basically means your internet connection port and LAN means local area network that means this is where you will connect your computers and other devices to your firewall so first up uh, you will have the WAN connection and then you need some information from your ISP so this information I gathered I obtained from logging into my current Wi-Fi modem router and this information are basically what which protocol your internet connection is using at the moment this may be ppoe or dhcp so if it is ppoe which is in my case you need to know the username and the password as well so in my case the isp was using a vlan as well vlan means virtual lan and you need to know that vlan id as well so then I created this VLAN called Internet. Basically to create a VLAN it is pretty easy. You go to create new interface and then you give a name, some name here and then from type you select VLAN and then you give here the VLAN ID which is 2 I have given already. So it may be any other ID that your ISP has provided and then you need to select PPOE if it is PPOE if it is DHCP you don't have you select DHCP so if it is PPOE you have to enter in the username and then the password and that's pretty much it and then here you can select which protocols are allowed to come into your home uh, router or home network so it is recommended that you don't allow these protocols otherwise any malicious actor can log in to your network and do some damage or steal your data and information so I have not allowed these uh, settings and then you can create click OK to create the VLAN so let us see uh, what information what the settings of my VLAN are so I double click on that and you see the VLAN name and then you add the interface WAN interface into the VLAN if you go back to create interfaces uh, page you can see you can add a interface to here in here so I have added WAN so because with VLANs what you can do is you can associate any interface physical interface with the VLAN so I have added the WAN interface to the uh, to this VLAN because WAN is where my ISP is connecting to and then uh, VLAN ID it is already there and I have selected PPOE because that is what my uh, I got from my router current router and then I have given the username and password and you can see after now it is connected and I have a public IP address here so this is the public IP address that I have been assigned by my ISP so fine it is connecting it is connected to the ISP and now we need to create a Wi-Fi SSID to be used with my home computers so creating a Wi-Fi SSID is also pretty straightforward you go to create new interface and from the type you select Wi-Fi SSID 
you give whatever the name here SSID name and then here you have to give the IP address range and then the subnet mask and here you will have to give select the security settings which Wi-Fi security uh, protocol you are going to use and then you will have to give the pre-shared key or the Wi-Fi password and then click OK so in my Wi-Fi uh, SSID you can see all the settings are here and you can also enable or disable the Wi-Fi SSID and I have done that so you can see my Wi-Fi SSID at the moment it's working and that is pretty much it and then you can connect to your to the internet using Wi-Fi and also it is pretty important to know that uh, the physical interfaces that means if somebody wants to connect to one of these Ethernet ports and connect access Wi-Fi it is also possible so that is what I have done here I have added the soft switch and connected the internal network and I have added my Wi-Fi as well as all the other three uh, ports or interfaces into this group that means this uh, we can access internet using these three ports as well but not LAN 1 interface because I have separated uh, this LAN 1 from the other three for to give me more control over LAN 1 interface so I can uh, play around with LAN 1 interface without compromising uh, my network security so that's it so if you want you can go ahead and create more Wi-Fi SSIDs and all that and you can also play around with this and also it is important to know that you can create policies as well IP4 policy so this is the policy I have at the moment land to internet so outgoing interface is internet which is the virtual LAN VLAN I created and this is just a name user friendly name I have given accept all that means anything is accepted so on top of this you can add a new policy new policy and you can either uh, do apply some restrictions apply some restrictions to secure your network further so we will discuss this policy based uh, policies in a future video so at the moment I hope that you uh, enjoyed and learned something from this video if you have any questions please feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and as always take care and see you in another video like this bye